I'm live. What's happening? Living the dream. We are living the dream. So right now I am live in Panama City Beach. What's up? Doing a I'm doing a few uh, YouTube top tens and top twenties. I have a top twenty YouTube about to drop of the uh, twenty most beautiful survivors of all times. Twenty. Look at this. This isn't a green screen, baby. This isn't a green screen. Thank you. My beard looks amazing. See, a lot of people are scared to say, oh, I died. I ain't gonna say I died. I ain't gonna say I did plastic surgery. I ain't gonna say females only. Right now, females. I, I don't know if I qualify for, for the top 20 hottest males. I mean, I don't know if I can judge that. You know what I mean? That's all. No big deal. So we're here in Panama City Beach, Florida. Doing that's my that's my youngest daughter. Her name is Gracie. That's my twin. Her name is Hannah. My favorite sport is football, man. So I just want to let you guys know. Oh, I'm bouncing all over the place. That I am about to drop. Uh, I just did a top ten. Uh, survivors that only played once that have the opportunity that should have the opportunity to play again I also just dropped like I said the 20 most beautiful to ever play survivor top 20 I don't care how pretty I mean I'm sorry I do care how pretty they are. I don't care how popular they are you watch these lists you always I don't want to spoil it but you see poverty always number one or two Come on, I mean, she's cute, but I'm talking about the top 20 most beautiful. So, and we did a bunch of things. Uh, I'm starting a YouTube thing, you know, I'm going big with it. Go big or go home, right? Uh, I just had that video. I'm sure you guys seen it. If you haven't, check it out. It's with that girl, what's her name? Uh, see, I already forgot her name. That, that hit on her dog. What's her name? I've already forgot. So anyway, this girl's uh, beating on her dog because the dog wants to play, right? So what I did was I took that video, immediately took it, and I ran with it to try to get this. This girl has, she had uh, 340,000 followers. Brooke. Brooke House. Now she has 300,000 and 30 or something she's lost she's lost uh, 10,000 only you can tell me she only lost 10,000 you kidding me she spit on her dog uh, she had it on. who spits on their dog what kind of personality you have to have to spit on your dog that that doesn't even make sense I mean that's crazy I know some people, and I don't condone it for sure, that slap their dog or hit it if it's being mean or whatever or trying to, in an aggressive way of training, which I don't agree with, but you, you take them down, she takes her dog down and spits on it? That was ridiculous. So anyway, I posted that video, and all of a sudden I get an email from YouTube saying that TMZ is telling me to take it down that they're they're reviewing it tmz is acting like they claim they want all for themselves they don't want anybody to air that footage but them so what i was trying to do is get the word out i want as many people that as you can get to air it right get as many people as you can to take this girl down take her off of youtube and TMZ only cares they're selfish. They only care about themselves. They only care about, uh, you know, what's going on. They try to, uh, we want this video all to ourselves. So they tried, and guess what? They didn't succeed. 
I get another email saying, oh yeah, no, can't do it. We're gonna go ahead and keep that video up. Cause it, so they have attorneys that try to, even with the stuff that we need to get out there. There's videos that we all need to, YouTubers around the world that need to talk about. There's issues that we need to talk about. There's, there's political issues, there's religious issues, there's all types of issues that, that were probably, I'm not much, I, if you know me on Twitter, you know that I'm somewhat political. I'm not gonna get into too much pol uh, political things on here, even though the guy Tim Ryan that's running for the Democratic Party for the President of the United States, he wants to do an interview with me. Uh, the reason I haven't did it yet is because I'm not sure yet if I wanna go that route. Uh, you can comment below if you think I need to jump into political things. I don't know if it's smart for me to jump into political things because you divide people. I want to have everybody love me, right? That's what it's about. Republicans, Democrats, gays, straights, blacks, whites, everybody. <laughs> Come join. Let's all have fun together. It's it, When you're trying to do this type of thing, it doesn't make sense to bring politics involved unless that's your, your thing, right? If that was my thing, then I would bring politics involved. And But... You know, I sit here and talk politics. I'm a, a, a offend half the people on my platform. So I don't know if I'm going to go that route. You know, I just don't. I might. I might do the interview with Tim Ryan, the Democratic candidate. I might. I'm not sure yet. But uh, you guys can hear me, right? I've been talking all this time maybe to myself. <coughs> okay. So, TMG tried to mess with me. I don't care who you are. I don't care if you're Mark Burdett, which he's a friend of mine, but I don't care who you are. There's gonna be backlash. I might not have as many viewers as these big boys, I might, but I will get there. With you, with your guys' help, I'll get there. And I'll be just as big as the big boys. And then when you try to mess with me, then I'll have the public to help me uh, you know, uh, spread messages, positive messages all around the world. That's what I really want to do with this channel. Uh, if we can, do, I know I'm supposed to be the biggest villain in, in Survivor's TV history, that's fine, but I'm gonna be a positive villain that we, we that's why uh, it's kind of hard for me. Who wouldn't do an interview with Tim Ron? You know, he's running for president. Who wouldn't want to do an interview with him you, I could get views. I might get this on Fox <coughs> or whatever. But uh, I don't want to go that route. Uh, you know, I just want this to be a fun experience. I know we're going to have some drama stuff that happened. But I'm not going to attack anybody that don't deserve to be attacked. TMZ came at me and uh, tried to take down my video with Brooke. So I did a video about it. It's right there. I don't know if I'm pointing in the right spot. See, I don't even know where to point right now. What do you think about this view, though? I like... Why does everybody ask me if I still like Parvati? Of course I like the girl. She's a sweet girl. She's married to a good friend of mine, John Fincher. I played Survivor with him. I'm bouncing. Excuse the, the wind. But uh, she never did me wrong. TMZ don't want to mess with hands. Just to be honest, uh, just to just to uh, put it out there, uh, the Hanses, Willie Hans, right? First person in Big Brother history to get kicked off. Brandon Hans, first person in Survivor history to get kicked off. Russell Hans, nope, I'm still there. I didn't do anything wrong. Don't blame me for things that I did, even though I could justify a lot of it. Brandon was young. Very young, wasn't ready to play. Brandon play again, I think things may be different. Willie, that wasn't a headbutt. I don't care what you say, that wasn't a headbutt. That was on Big Brother. I, I'm i gonna do a YouTube uh, channel on things that people has done in that house, in Big Brother house, 
this worse than what Willie done and they're still there. You know, we'll, we'll do a little, it won't get monetized because I'm have to show videos, but who cares? Sometimes you got to do things that's not monetized. This is nice out here, I ain't gonna lie. So I know I rant, I'm ranting and raving, but I wanted to come on here live, uh, talk to everybody about my new venture here. Uh, I'm gonna be podcasting back on season 40. Uh, when season 40 starts, I'm gonna have all my equipment. I barely have anything. I'm getting it together now. As you see, I'm not holding the camera anymore. That's a that's a step up, and uh, and I'm getting my equipment together to where uh, I can. Uh, I'm a, I'm gonna air as I'm doing my podcast. You can either watch it on YouTube or listen to it on iTunes or wherever. Okay. Uh oh. Let's see what's happening here. We got uh, sports bet education in the house. Let me know. Educate me. Ed educate me on some sports. I don't know. If you guys, I want you to comment below. I've been thinking about doing this too. I want to kind of do something on the upcoming season of football, fantasy football uh, in the house. I'll show you where I'm at right now. This place right here is pretty cool. It's called Barefoot. I don't know, Barefoot Lounge, or Barefoot Bar and Grill. They have a pool. They have their little place right there. Then they got a pool behind their place. And then you can walk right out there to the beach. So like I was saying, I was thinking about doing a, uh, a uh, fantasy football type uh, podcast talking about the top 20 uh, players that you should pick if they're available in the first round and the second round if you would think that was interesting comment right here on this on this one below uh, let me know because I don't want to do it if only two or three people want to hear about it I want to do it if I get thousands of people wanting to hear about it I also have my tiny house I'm a steel build only uh, 600 people are still watching that uh, get done but those are loyal fans they've been with me uh, from the beginning so i'm gonna keep doing that uh i gotta put the windows in stuff like that i got a lot a long ways to go with that house but my ultimate goal is one hundred thousand. that's my ultimate goal when i get to that a hundred thousand subscribers then i'll get another ultimate goal my goal right now at the moment is 10,000 subscribers. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It helps a lot. Uh, and then it helps me want to keep doing this type of thing when I get, but my ultimate goal is 100,000 subscribers. That way we can talk to anybody around the world. Talk about everything. This girl beating up a dog, her own dog. We gotta get that stuff out, guys. We can't allow that stuff to happen. We gotta put it we gotta put our foot down somewhere so i want to use this channel with you to help me put my foot down on these people abusing different situations she abused the animal she knows me now she might have not have known me then but she knows me now don't mess with me that's all i got to say thank you i'm looking very good today i appreciate that Yep. Nice. So, uh, you guys, please stick around. Please subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Uh, like it. Comment below. Tell me if you want me to talk, do one podcast about fantasy football. And uh, keep hope alive. Stay tuned. Got more coming. All right, guys. Talk to you later. That's my daughter right there. My little daughter. She's not big. She was premature when she was born. Woo! She's not. Woo! There she goes. Oh, my bigger daughter. It's a bigger one. Both of them in the palm of my hand.
That's what I do. That's what fathers do. They'll hold their kids. Protect them. Anyway. Alright guys. Talk to you later. Keep up alive like I say. Merch coming soon.